Okay, now I'm gonna do something that makes me think of fall. I'm going to make a, an infusion with dried fruits. I'm using ocean spray cran raisins, craisins, cranberries, dried cranberry. They call them craisins. If they're not raisins, they're cranberries. Some dried figs, which I love to eat just like they are, but I'm, I'm sacrificing a few of my treats for this experiment. And then I dried these lemons with the peel on it in my Kasori dehydrator and some apple slices that I dried in my Kasori dehydrator. So I'm gonna just put a mixture of these things in there. And I wish I had an apple dried, I mean an orange dried, because that's what I, I would love to put in there too. But, I'm gonna start out with some of my precious um, figs. I'm gonna pour in some craisins, which are pretty precious too. Not quite as precious as uh, figs. I love figs. I love fresh figs. I love um, dried figs. Of course, I like fresh figs better. Who doesn't? But uh, but uh, figs have such a short season and, and very few people even have figs, fig trees. So it, it, for the rest of the world who doesn't have a fig tree and in, in their fig season's over, you, you can order, this, this brand is you pick and I ordered it from Amazon. So that, I have that little um, group of fruits that I'm gonna put in here. I don't have any idea how long that's gonna take. And then I'm gonna put a few cloves in there. Uh, star anise, a couple of star anise. And some allspice. Quite honestly, I think what I'm gonna do, I wish I'd packed it better. Well, I don't know if I can do that or not. I, I wish I had added some of the spices and lemons down here instead of waiting till the end. Uh, I have on my blog a description of how the flavors of these different woody spices taste. Uh, oh, and also stick, sticks of lemon, sticks of cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. I'll put some of those in there. All right, now then, I'm gonna put more. I've done that much. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna see what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the craisins, a little bit more apple, a little bit more fig, more apple, more craisins, more apple, a little bit more spice. And then I'm getting ready to seal this down. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm not sure how much it's gonna take, but um, we'll see. I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna start out with a cup of vodka. I'm having the Smirnoff vodka that I'm using for this. Vodka, they, they I read, I, I'm new to this sport, but I read that vodka is a great, uh, alcohol liquor for infusing because it has a neutral flavor and it has a neutral color so uh, it, you can really tell what your coloring and what your flavoring is doing in this neutral vodka and Smirnoff probably is not Tito's it's not the best vodka but it's not terrible Okay, that was a half cup. So I'm sure this is going to be a, a cup of vodka. Put another half cup in there and see where we stand. Uh 
I want it, I want all of it covered, so I'm gonna pour, I don't think it's gonna swell, I don't, it may, but then I'm gonna put a cap on it, jar lid, and then a, a ring to seal it down. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put this in a dark, cool place, and I'm not gonna set it out in the garage. I'm gonna put it in a dark, cool place and let it sit for three, isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look fallish? Already taken on the colors. Not really, but it, but the reflection of these colors mar marbling through that is pretty. So I think that's going to be a pretty treat for fall. So anyway, I'm I'm going to put this in a in a cool, dark space and let it fuse. Let the infusion work for three days, and then we'll test it. So I'm going to come back. This is Monday. I'm going to come back Thursday and test all the things that I've done so far.